The talk of the Association Hall these days is less about the job of Dallas firefighters and more about what comes after it. I knew I was going to be taken care of and, you know, looking at it now, um, maybe, uh, maybe not so much. David Lindsay retired after 38 years as one of the city's finest. Since he left, the price of everything has gone up, but not his pension. Zero. I have not, uh, matter of fact, when I left, uh, I, didn't, I have not gotten a cost of living uh, raise since, since I left. City Council just heard more bad news. The Dallas Police and Fire Pension Investment Rate of Return is 2%, well below Houston, Austin, and the national average. What do you think needs to be done? Fire the investment advisors and get someone in who knows how to invest money. Councilmember Paul Ridley says taxpayers are on the hook for the pension fund's poor performance. The city says the fund's still suffering after bad investments. Getting in line with new state requirements will cost Dallas an extra $40 million next year. If we had been earning what Houston earns at 10 percent on the invested funds instead of 2 percent, then we wouldn't have this $11 billion shortfall. We might still have a shortfall, but it would be substantially less. The head of the pension calls Ridley's comments disappointing and says the rate of return doesn't tell the whole story and the pensions made progress. You can have all those dollars and all those investments, but there's actual names and lives attached to every one of those. Lindsay says he trusts the pension, but for it to include a cost of living raise for him would mean taxpayers must put in even more. In Dallas, I'm Cole Sullivan.